All right. So I want to clarify something. I think a lot of people listen and pay attention to what I'm saying, and they sort of think that I have, you know, I just think everything is rosy colored and all of that kind of stuff. It's absolutely not true. That um, I think that the world, there's a lot of crap in this world, but completely, you know, no other word that describes it better it blows, right? Like they just sucks. Um, a lot of stuff in, in academia and doing research and, you know, all of that kind of stuff really sucks. Um, a lot of stuff in this world really sucks, right? Like just terrible, not great in any sort of way. However, I want to point out that uh, a lot of that stuff you cannot change. Now, I would say that many of you can change one of these things if you pick it and you pursue that particular thing. But... Given that it's a systematic issue, it is going to take an awful lot of work and it's going to be your life's commitment. It's going to take you an unbelievable amount of time and effort to actually make some significant positive change in a certain area. And it's going to be a slow process. Now, when you are doing that slow process, when you are stepping into that, you're going to realize that it all freaking sucks. And people are going to crap on you and do all of this kind of stuff. Now, what you need is not more people to crap on you and tell you that the world sucks. What you need is somebody to say, go get after it and make that change. Go do that thing and have some positive thoughts in your head to actually make that positive change. I want you to be all clear with this. There's nothing that I say that is not emphasizing the fact that you can make a positive change, you could do this, but it's gonna take an awful lot of work. And there's nothing that I say that is gonna be like, oh, everything's hunky-dory and it's easy and all of this. No, that is not true at all. I'm emphasizing the fact that it is hard and it is brutal and it does suck, but you gotta pick and choose your battles. If you want to strategize and think about how to prioritize what you're doing, you need to think about what are the things that I could possibly control and do in my life and what are the things that I gotta let go. And um, there's a lot of things that you're not gonna like, right? Like most, many things you're not gonna like, but what you need to do is live with those things. You gotta change your attitude around the world, uh, with, with the world and realize that I can only pick the things that I'm gonna do. Right. So if I wanted to really make a massive difference in this world with the salary of PhDs, right, like PhD students make nothing and it irritates the crap out of me, but I can't change that overnight. It's not something that is um, easy to do because I, I mean, I think it's stupid, right? They're basically employees. They're working and then they get underpaid because they're classified as a student. Uh, I can't change that at my institution overnight, right? Like I can um, kind of make some some progress or think about it or make suggestions every once in a while, but you can't change that. And I also certainly can't change that more broadly across the board. And that's the trouble. It's a market thing. That's what's going on across the market. So what can we do? Well, we pick and choose the battles. So in the moment, when things come up or if there's a moment where I can lobby for, um, you know, PhD students to get their, their conditions a little better, I'm going to do that, right? Like I'm going to sort of think about that. Now, if there is moments where I can sort of, you know, help somebody that's in the depths of despair to get up and clean themselves off and get going, I'm going to do that, right? But I cannot, I can only change so many things in my life. Um, and, and it's a slow and steady process and I have to keep that optimism in the long run. Now, there's one other thing I want to point out, right? Despite the fact that over the long run, or sorry, despite the fact that in the short term, short term being in the next 10 years, maybe the next 15 years, like all outlooks look not great in general. But, um, you know, if you look at a lot of things, it just doesn't look great, right? However... If you look at the long-term trends, right? I just want you to look at long-term trends. As soon as you look at long-term trends, so you're looking at 20 years and more, 
things almost uniformly look better under all measures of human progress. And it's been like that for decades and decades and decades and decades and even centuries at this point. We've con consecutively gotten better at many different things. So my hope is the whittling away, the sort of chipping away, to being positive, to let you know that, hey, yeah, you know what, there's a lot of craptacular things in this world, and I can't change those things right now. But if we whittle away, we whittle away, we whittle away, and we keep putting progress on things, it's not going to be a huge, dramatic change. But these little tiny changes over time, self-correct. And they do end up being for the better. And, and I know that you might think that that is very rosy, but it's the truth if you look at all, every indicator of human progress, um, as well as, you know, even, even not nature's progress, right? Like, you know that you could look at and say, hey, we've got a carbon problem right now. We do, it's a, it's a massive carbon problem but we're recognizing we actually have a problem, which is far more than what we recognized 30 years ago. Um, yes, there's a stupid ass debate about it that doesn't make no sense to me why there's even a debate. However, um, it's more than what we had 30 years ago. It's more than what we were doing and recognizing in the 1970s, right? And I want you to sort of take a step back and think about that man, it's, it's, it's a lot. It takes a long time. And yes, okay, I'm, I'm a young person. I'm 40, 43 right now. By the time that I start seeing significant progress in any of this kind of stuff, I'm going to be 70. But that's okay, right? Like that's, that's me realizing that I'm bigger than myself. And I'm realizing that there's, there's generations that are going to happen after me. And yeah, maybe the world's gonna implode nuclear disaster between now and then, but you know, that's the chance that I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna try to be a little bit more rosier than most people because I see the numbers and yeah, you know what? Wouldn't it be better? Here's the proposition, right? Wouldn't it be better to live a life where you are slightly delusional and slightly positive on how the world is gonna be compared to the person that thinks that the world's going to implode at any moment at any time and be upset with the world and be scared and fearful i think i'd want to go with the first option if that's me not saying i'm not delusional and saying that all of these problems are real we have obesity problems in 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 much of the world we have problems with um you know poor education we have problems with um uh, you know, environmental disasters, we have likely, maybe, too many people that live on the earth, you know, we're all these kind of things, right? Like all this kind of stuff, but you pick and choose your battles. And then you be slightly optimistic to keep yourself going every single day. If I did, I would stop, I would hate myself, and I'd probably go into real deep funk. So I don't want to be like that. I want to live my life a little cheery, a little helpful, and just keep pursuing it. All right. That's how I know how I keep going every day. All right. Take care and have a wonderful day.